Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, everybody. We continue with our International Educational Opportunities web talk. Uh, today we have uh, Ms. Munaza Bhatt speaking from Italy on how you can reach there and study. Uh, we'll give a more formal introduction a little bit later, but now let's start with a uh, short period. Uh, Risha, can you take over and introduce us? Today we have with us uh, Ms. Munaza Bhatt, who is a graduate from NIT, National Institute of Technology, Srinagar, as a material and metallurgical engineer. She has joined Politecnico de Milano in 2019 for management engineering with a specialization in design management innovation and entrepreneurship. She has been actively providing career guidance to students for better future prospects from last four years now. She is also a national level debater who has organized several workshops and events till date. We are glad to have Ms. Munaza Bhatt with us today. Thank you. So I'll be giving a short introduction about the AMP. Uh, AMP, which stands for Association of Muslim Professionals, is a non-profit organization uh, established in 2007 by a small team of just four members. The foundation mission uh, was to empower underprivileged and to form a robust society and work together for the progress and development of our nation, India. Uh, the, the always the motive was to make the AMP not the people dependent, but the process dependent so that even if the person who has started it is not there, still it's going to work um, ahead in a long run. So that is why AMP is a unique platform. Um, AMP was first registered in India as AMP India and Alhamdulillah, it has grown and now registered in USA, UK and Australia. Uh, AMP's primary focus has always been on education and professional empowerment. Apart from this, AMP also focuses on economic awareness, social responsibilities, and recognition. AMP has completed 13 years and has a vision to impact 10 million lives by 2030, inshallah. Uh, um, I'll be speaking about the AMP's uh, achievement, what AMP has achieved. Uh, so any organization's achievement can be comprehended by the numbers procured uh, over a period of time. And AMP has multiple chapters and AMP has procured these numbers. Let me walk you th through these chapters and what we have achieved in this. So the very first chapter is SDPs, it's School Development Program. Under this program, AMP has connected with 800 plus schools and conducted 2,800 plus skill development lectures, which benefited 2,81,000 students across nation. In AMP, uh, what a, uh, uh, what in uh, under a, uh, this chapter, what AMP does is AMP, AMP sends their volunteers to the school and uh, the volunteers take session about career development, moral science, career planning, examination, preparation, soft skills, uh, some kind of training, which is also done for teacher and pa parents. So in that AMP has conducted 110 plus teacher training and parenting workshop. The second chapter, which is Employment Assistance Cell, EAC, uh, AMP organizes job fairs and job drive under this chapter. So here we have organized 360 plus job fairs and job drive, uh, which has led to 220 plus employ, uh, sorry, 220 plus, and has conducted 220 plus employability training, um, which in turn has led to 21,000 plus uh, employment of the candidates and specifically from that 17,000 plus degree students have been benefited. The third chapter, which is scholarship and self-employment, uh, here in this uh, chapter, with the help of uh, Zakat funds, AMP has helped 800 plus students with higher education scholarship, 860 plus orphan students with their education fee, 
um, AMP has also empowered 425 plus families to set up their own um, uh, business and have made them independent. The fourth chapter, which is AMP Resource Center. This is a very um, unique and very uh, important, one of the very unique uh, chapter because here what we are doing is uh, AMP has a huge connect of um, uh, professional volunteers. So we are leveraging that uh, people and with that AMP is setting up an online career counseling centers. Um, so here in this chapter, uh, we have conducted 660 plus career counselors. Uh, see, sorry, we have 660 plus career counselors uh, whose contact details and everything is available on the website. Uh, from this, 2,500 plus students have been benefited till date. And the AMP uh, website, uh, the official website has 50 plus documents on career guidance. And we have distributed 1,500 plus career charts, which helps, um, you know, these documents are different kinds of uh, related to career, like what are the next stages and what all things can be planned. Uh, this helps the student to uh, know the diversity within the field, which is usually not known easily. The fifth is um, awards and partnership. Here, AMP recognizes and acknowledges our community people. Um, I guess it is very important. It's not just enough to do the work, but it is also Im important that someone um, acknowledge the people who does and goes beyond their able, uh, capability and does the work for the society. Uh, so here, uh, AMP acknowledges different people uh, and organizations too. So for example, every year from the past five years, AMP identifies 100 teachers across India who goes beyond and about to deliver education and empower students. Uh, so, the, so there are different uh, recognition that also that also happens, uh, and that is what is done by EMP. Going to the uh, going ahead, I'll talk about the digital initiative taken by the AMP. So, um, as the pandemic has hit uh, in 2020, uh, people across different sectors were hit hard, um, not just because of the disease, but also the lockdown, which has impacted many people in many different ways. So, AMP, in order to um, you know take some initiative for that, AMP has launched three online platforms. The first one is IndiaZakat.com, the second is the IndiaMentors.com, and the third one is AMP Power. Powersjob.com. Uh, powers so uh, the first one, which is uh, indiazakat.com, is a very first zakat crowdfunding platform uh, in India, which brings the zakat seekers and the zakat givers together. So here, what AMP does is they do a thorough background verification of the zakat seekers. Um, which is very crucial while somebody wants to give the zakat. This is one of the very crucial steps. And often this thing is neglected. However, AMP has kept this in mind and is making sure that we do a thorough background verification. The uh, second uh, initiative was the indiamentors.com, which helps in development of professional uh, community by bringing in the concept of mentorship. So here a mentor who is an expert and well-versed in his field chooses five mentees and groom them for three months. Uh, the third initiative, which is AMP Power Job, is a free uh, job portal where the professional can list the job openings in their organization and the job seekers can uh, seek the benefit directly. So this has uh, definitely helped a lot of people in the pandemic. Um, Going ahead, talking about the reach um, that we uh, AMP has taken, AMP has like 140 plus active chapters, which is spread across 16 countries, 26 states with 6,000 plus active members. Um, we have a huge and growing, um, a very rapidly growing online presence. So as of now, we have one like 25,000 plus members, but Definitely, this is going uh, huge on a daily basis and it has grown a lot. Uh, moving to the last thing that I want to talk over here is this is our uh, official uh, website. You can go and check more details. What I have told you is just the brief what AMP does. You can go to this website and you can check the details of what AMP do. Um, I would really encourage you all in joining AMP. 
कि UMP has created a platform where anybody can come ahead and contribute to the society in any possible way. All you have to do is spend some time. So if you are someone who is you know interested in serving the community and society, and you are ready to invest just few hours, and you want to serve um, others, and you want to make this uh, world better. and uh, in return if you are also you know hoping that your akhira becomes better i guess amp is the right place to join so please do reach out to us and uh, join amp uh, now moving ahead um, we can um, uh, we have our speaker uh, ms manaza bhat uh, manaza you can go ahead and the platform is all yours now thank you so much Uh, thank you so much haba uh, assalam alaikum a uh, very good evening to everyone first of all thank you so very much uh, for actually inviting me to be a part of this huge community uh, like i'm really really amazed and impressed by seeing the work uh, of amp I, i had an i iota not just iota of idea but a lot actually that what amp is about what it's doing uh, i'm really surprised to see this is going like on a very exponential depth and graphically like increasing not even a point so congratulations every one of you for that i still remember uh, like it was back in 2018 i was in delhi and uh, i was discussing we were just brainstorming on an idea with one of my friends and he told me uh, let's talk with amir sir the director and we just had a call and we discussed some stuff uh, back in 2018 and he told me oh, why don't you join amp it's a great platform will serve the people in the right way so it's been 3 years till date and, and i'm really and i made that choice that day so today we are here after that i joined the polytechnic after graduation thank you so much for it and uh, before uh, actually taking a lot of your time i think uh, i would like to thank the attendees to be here today so i'll just right away share the screen and please let me know if the screen is visible to all of you so that we can go ahead okay uh, is the screen visible Yes, your screen is visible. Okay, uh, so today we'll be talking uh, like I'll be giving a very general idea, and I'll uh, try to make it more interactive rather than making it just a one-sided, one-way conversation or making it just a presentation. I'll give a general idea about uh, how what's the education uh, and scholarship opportunity available in Italy, and then I'll be keeping the floor open to all my uh, friends there so that you know they can pose questions. So, hello, ciao from Milan. So that's how we greet and meet people uh, here in Milan. like we say salam and here we say ciao just to make it a little more light about me as a uh, heba and others you already introduced me i graduated as a metallurgical engineer in from nit srinagar in 2019 and in the same year i joined uh, polytechnico in management engineering so track record now i am about to complete and working on my thesis now so next 6 months or probably less i'll inshallah be graduating and i've been mentoring students my fellows colleagues and whosoever just reaches out to me through any platform be it the linkedin and sometimes through facebook or whatsapp email i try to mentor them uh, for whosoever wants to pursue the further education either in europe particularly in italy or maybe sometimes in india so that's how i am you know trying to grasp my career as a career coach not so very peculiar but yeah i'm trying and yeah also to give it a, a lighter tone i'm an accidental cook who learned cooking and actually loved after coming to milan because you have to be all yourself talking about why italy not just its student uh, sorry tourism friendly or people who always choose italy as a tourism destination and a hot spot to go and see europe or to see the nature but it's student friendly as well ranking up at around the eighth most industrialized country in the whole world which to my utter surprise i also didn't know about it till i got to explore it and see my uh, colleagues or my friends or alumni being here graduating from here and actually surprised to see how many scholarship opportunities are available so you know in the graph of exploring this thing so i was checking upon that almost 40000 international students they have here per year which is a good iota of number and uh, 
keeping the aspirations high and skepticism low, we have English taught programs here in Italy. So having a notion that, uh, oh, I want to go to Europe, but I have a language problem. So be carefree, you don't have it here. Uh, you come, you have all the uh, public universities or the private universities. So they have their curriculum, at least from masters or the PhD level, they taught in English language. So it's not a problem, at least from us as uh, coming from a background wherein we have to uh, talk and we have used to learn. Of course, you get a, a very good hold about the Schengen state. I mean, whole of the European, when we apply for it particularly, not talking about other countries, if you are to, uh, applying for the Italian visa, the visa you get is the Schengen uh, visa. So uh, you have visa free entry to almost all of the European uh, countries, if not all, but almost up to 80%. And of course, the ample scholarship opportunities, which I'll be, of course, discussing in the next state. Probably in my uh, knowledge, I think Italy is the highest paid place when you get uh, student-friendly scholarship opportunities, I, I, I would say it. The popular program. So uh, we usually remember Italy as like, this is something about the fashion, luxury, sports vehicles. So, yeah, yeah, it's right. Uh, Italy being the world-class manufacturing industry, Ducati or development ka kaam ho, mechanical and in the automation or robotics or someone is very keen on designing, you have it all here. They're the global trendsetters, not just in design, but fashion as well. So uh, just architect in Europe in particular with number three, they have their top ranking engineering and technical schools here. And uh, they are not just all the research and development scholarships too. You just need to hit the right place and email it out. Talking next about the university and world rankings. First of all, I mean, webinar attend I would try to keep it a mix. And please uh, stop me if uh, there's something you do not understand or if there is something you want me uh, to clarify a little more, I'll do it. Yeah, if language is uh, comfortable in Urdu, mein, I can do that as well, Urdu or Hindi. So, as we are looking at university and world rankings, hai, to whenever you start to apply, whenever you start to uh, check on your application, just go and check the world rankings because that is the most important thing. First of all, what do we do in universities? Mein kya karte ke consultants, ko we just go and pay them. But before doing that, of course, I do not negate or endorse that. But before doing that, you need to keep your check. Just go and check the QS ranking. Jahan आपको अंदाजा हो जाएगा कि आप जहां भी यूनिवर्सिटी में अप्लाई कर रहे हैं उसकी रैंकिंग क्या है वर्ल्ड में आपकी उस यूनिवर्सिटी की कहां रैंक स्टैंड करती है देन दिस इज जस्ट दी फॉर द रेफरेंस आई हैव पुट ऑन हियर द वर्ल्ड रैंकिंग ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी बट ऑफ कोर्स देन आपको देखना है कि आप जिस कोर्स में अप्लाई कर रहे हैं वहां की डिपार्टमेंट रैंकिंग कैसी है वहां का आपका डिपार्टमेंट रैंक कैसा एंड ऑफ कोर्स दैट्स गोइंग टू डिफर सो दिस इज द 2022 रैंकिंग आई जस्ट टुक अ स्निपेट ऑफ इट ये लास्ट नाइट एंड यू कुड सी दैट द पॉलिटेक्निक ऑफ द मिलानो इट स्टैंड्स फॉर 124 एंड इट्स द वर्ल्ड रैंकिंग एंड इन यूरोप दे स्टैंड फॉर 3 एंड ऑफ कोर्स इन सम डोमेन्स दे स्टैंड फर्स्ट इसी तरीके से यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ बोलोनिया है व्हिच वी कॉल बोलोग्ना एंड वी हैव सेपियंस ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ रोम ऑफ कोर्स वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटी इन इटली नॉट जस्ट दीस 3 और 4 you could see we have University of Padua, we have University of Milan, we have Politecnico di Torino, Pisa. So uh, just to add here that we have a lot of students in every university of Italy almost, if not every, at least 70-80%. We see people from different places of Asia, places we don't even know about, or the universities I personally haven't even heard about. I didn't know that there are universities there. And surprisingly, I had this notion, tha, unless I perceived it or unless I checked upon myself that okay, there are scholarship options. Hai. But it's just a matter of that particular spark of checking it, taking that conscience that I have to check it, get into touch with proper people, getting to know them, asking them, and trying to see that, yes, the world is there out there. I mean, there are a lot of opportunities. Uh, of course, this is just the uh, specific and not general. I am uh, trying to put on the best schools in Italy if you're trying to target. Uh, number one stands for Politecnico di Milano, which is in Milan. And this is the three uh, I mean, subdivisions. In the arts and design ka school, hai, it stands fifth in the world. Architecture stands seventh, and engineering and technology stands 20th. So, this is the world ranking the globally I'm talking about. 
Then we have University of Rome. A lot of Indian, Pakistani students, Asian students from all over the world, you name it and it's there. The University of Rome, Politecnico di Torino, University of Milan. So these are among the top best schools in Italy. And talking about in particular, you could see here in uh, master's program at Polony. This is just a snippet I've put on. Here our courses, they range from bachelor's, master's, PhD. In master's, you'll find that uh, if you could see when you go to the website, pe jayenge, if any one of you is interested to go on and check the university website, what you do, you go directly to their website, pe ja ke, sabse pehle apna jo language hai, because uh, you'll be accessing it from India. So just change the language because a lot of times students come to me and tell me that we, we are not able to, you know, uh, check the website properly. We're not able to get the information because it's in Italian. You have to change the language there and we'll get to know that how it's being, you know, written in English. So this is the interface uh, alphabetically just me bataya gaya hai ki kon kon se courses available hai. So we have different campuses here ranging from aeronautics, agriculture, food engineering, management engineering, computer sciences. You have it all there. So whatever is the course, whichever is the department you want to get yourself enrolled in, you can just go there and you can just, uh, you know, um, check for the deadlines or the openings. I'll be talking about this point in the next slide. Ki what and when do you apply? This part is just to make you understand that uh, the common notions. You could see the two flags, the English and the Italian. So yes, ka matlab hai ki in departments, mein Italian language mein padaya jata hai, in English language mein bhi kuch courses padaya jate hai. Okay. Find your university. As I was telling you, as an IS student or starting from ground zero, how, or I'll be talking about my experience. How did I start? Take your notes. It's not a one-time job. It's not an overnight job. Go and open up your stuff. Make up your uh, proper uh, application, um, I would say, regime or make it a routine. Every day, if, if you're applying, say, suppose you want to apply next year. From this year, yes. From almost one year before, you have to get start uh, your hands on the application. Start with the QS rankings. I told you that you have to go on the Google, just write on the QS rankings worldwide. You'll see which university you want to apply and what's the QS ranking. Then after that, what you do, check out the program outline. If say, suppose I have a friend and he or she wants to apply for the computer engineering, check for the courses. If they suit you, shortlist it. Check for the courses, check for the university. If, if it suits best to you, do like that. Number third is professor. Sometimes for some people, it's a priority to work under a particular professor. I had this one of my friends, uh, not, not a friend, just uh, acquaintance, and he was telling me he's working in IIT Bombay. He told me one day that I want to work with one professor and he's there in Italy and he's working in the University of Pisa. He literally has a lot of work to do. So he practically happens to be, you know, not just a visiting professor, but he was university in the university. So maybe sometimes people prefer to work under a particular professor. So you can see that 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 it's it's the professor ka properly waha, uh, resume hota hai. they have their publications they have their work so it's very easy very convenient it's just a matter of research it's just a matter of taking that you know a uh, step of doing it all yourself because of course this is something Lack of awareness. This is not something you can't do. Hum log itna time apne internet pe aajkal use kar rahe It's so handy, right? So it's just a matter of how you do it, how you manage to do it. Then after you finalize your program outline or maybe the QS ranking, you're done with the university, check for the funding opportunities. Because sometimes what happens in places like Europe, or particularly I'm again stressing in Italy, trust me, you have a lot of scholarship opportunities available. I mean, it's not just one, it's not just two. I'll be talking about another scholarship opportunity, which is specifically for India in collaboration with the Italian government. Italian government and Indian uh, government, they have a pact. Maybe if somebody's taking the notes, uh, I have written it as well, but just please put in a point. There is a scholarship which is in uh, collaboration with the Italian government for specifically Indian students. So you can, of course, avail that as well. And you have the merit-based scholarships and etc. as well. University to university depend karta hai, aapki university funding bhi hoti hai. Unlike in Canada, unlike in other places, if you're not able to crack there, kyunki waha aapko professor se funding leni hoti ya kuch jagon ba jise Germany hai, waha already aapka jo hai, uh, when I was, uh, you know, trying to help some friends with the applications in Germany, waha humne dekha, unke was education is free. It just aapko admit letter chahiye hota hai. 
तो हम लोग बोलने को तो बोल देते हैं कि जर्मनी में एजुकेशन इज फ्री चलो जर्मनी चलते बट दे डोंट रियलाइज कि वहां के लिविंग कॉस्ट इज रियली ह्यूज लाइक यू हैव टू बी मेंटली रेडी आपको फ्रीज अकाउंट बनाना पड़ता है यू हैव टू गो फॉर योर ब्लॉक अकाउंट सो अलॉट ऑफ टाइम्स वट हैपन स्टूडेंट जस्ट एंड अप डूइंग दैट बट हेयर वट हैपन आपके पास बहुत सारी फंडिंग अपॉर्चुनिटीज अवेलेबल है जो आपका ट्यूशन फी भी कवर करते हैं जो आपका क्या कहते हैं कि स्कूल uh, का रेजिडेंस uh, का भी कवर uh, करते हैं एंड इन फैक्ट गिव सम स्टाइप इन एज वेल and uh, even at times for me it's uh, they they are uh, in fact been able to give you the food expenses as well next we have the cultural potential so a lot of people coming from north parts of india or pakistan or some other places where we have the winter and stuff uh, you'll find italy quite of uh, you know not more of a cultural shock but a cultural huge potential jo hum log adapt kar sakte we all have those mountains here nice weather we, we do have snow as well so okay so it's it's not a very something oh i'm not able to live there it's a very big cultural shock it's not like that रीच आउट एलिमिनाई बहुत बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है वन ऑफ द रीजन इफ यू आस्क मी कि मैंने ये ये वेबिनार क्यों ज्वाइन किया पर्टिकुलरली हमारा एक ग्रुप है एक कश्मीरी साइन ग्रुप है हमारा या अलग से भी बहुत सारे ग्रुप्स है इंडियन लेवल पे जैसे कि ए एम पी है या अदर हमारा पर्सनल ग्रुप है वेर एन वी ट्राई कि हम लोग ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोगों को बता सके बिकॉज इट जस्ट अबाउट अवेयरनेस इट्स अबाउट रीचिंग टू पीपल मैंने एक बहुत ही अच्छी बात सीखी है अपने फादर से वो मुझे कहते हैं कि जब भी आप किसी स्टेज पे पहुंचो तो याद रखो कि जो जिस तरीके से आप वहां पहुंचे इवन इफ इट्स एनी लैडर और इवन इफ इट्स अ लेफ्ट डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस दी लेफ्ट बटन डाउन ताकि और लोग आके उस जगह पे आपके साथ पहुंच सके सो इट्स ऑलवेज अबाउट अवेयरनेस इट्स ऑलवेज अबाउट हेल्पिंग इट जस्ट अ मैटर ऑफ टाइम अदरवाइज यू कुड सी लॉट ऑफ कंसल्टेंट्स डूइंग इट बट वही चीज जो आपको पे करके वहां करनी पड़ती है आप खुद भी कर सकते हैं Attend to webinars like these, which are free. Reach out to your alumni. Like, कहीं आपको पता है कि आपका कोई senior है, friend है, friend का friend है. Do not hesitate to just, you know, punch an email or you know, write an email to them. Just do it. Trust me, if we are here, we would love to have other people here as well on the same pedestal. So we are. अगर आपको कोई reply मिलता नहीं है, just don't stop. Go on trying out. It's just about the matter of research, as I said. you could see here i have put on about coming to the word scholarships this say yaar scholarship nahi hoti wo nahi hota it's not like that it's all written and it's just few uh, it's it's the general line scholarship i, I am been talking about here and i'm pretty sure universities ki apni bhi scholarships hoti hain jo ki depend karti hai har university se har university like we have merit scholarships that's the university based so jab aap apply karte hain italy mein particularly talking about polytechnico torino the milano आपकी एप्लीकेशन बाय डिफॉल्ट एक जनरल पूल ऑफ कंपटीशन में ऐड हो जाती है जहां क्या होता है कि आपको देखा जाता है कि आर यू एलिजिबल फॉर द यूनिवर्सिटी बेस्ड मेरिट्स कॉल यू डोंट नीड टू अप्लाई इवन फॉर दैट आपकी एप्लीकेशन ऑटोमेटिकली कंसीडर होती है दैट्स व्हाट वी कॉल द यूनिवर्सिटी बेस्ड मेरिट स्कॉलरशिप ओके तो उसमें आपको फिर विद एप्लीकेशन अगर आप एक्सेप्ट होते हैं एक यूनिवर्सिटी में आपको ऑटोमेटिकली मेरिट स्कॉलरशिप का भी ईमेल आ जाता है तो इट डिपेंड्स उसके बाद आपको बताया जाता है कि कितना क्या है दैट्स दी अदर पार्ट ऑफ द सिलेक्शन प्रोसेस व्हिच लेट्स कीप दैट फॉर द नेक्स्ट टाइम द अनदर स्कॉलरशिप व्हिच आई वाज पर्टिकुलरली टॉकिंग अबाउट द इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स दैट्स द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फॉरेन अफेयर्स एंड इंटरनेशनल कोऑपरेशन जस्ट राइट इट डाउन समवेयर uh this is about a, uh, a pact which indian government has with the italian government they have a collaboration or uske tahat every year they sponsor almost 900 euros or 700 euros i, I don't know particularly you have to apply for it har saal aapki call khulti hai agar aapke paas already admit letter hota hai ek university ka aap yahan ja ke apply karte hain they uh, check ki applications kitni hoti hai and of course if it's indian government to so specifically for indian people they have a certain set of uh, domains wherein they see ki cultural ke liye hai engineering and technology mein itni hai nano technology ke liye itni hai materials ke liye itni hai you apply and you get in it's very good scholarship in fact they sponsor your tickets they sponsor your round tickets of course and they sponsor your um, what do we call it um, uh, insurance sorry i was not getting the word they sponsor your insurance which is a very important point if you're going to uh, if you're going abroad for your studies i mean then the third one which is like in abundance and which is why a lot of people not lot i think all of the people who apply they uh, just come here because of the uh, regional government scholarships which is the financial need in italy we have this very good initiative from the italian government ki agar aap kisi university mein unki admit lete hain 
ECB University in Italy. And if the you apply for the regional government scholarship, which of course is a financial need, and you have to show your financial analysis. And if you have indicator that your finances are not enough, they sponsor you. They sponsor you for your studies. They pay for your fee. You don't have to pay the fee. You don't have to pay for your accommodation. Aapki yahan pe hamari residences hoti hain, jo aapki is scholarship ke under cover ho jaate hain. And they pay for your food as well. So we have the one in Lombardia region. Lombardia means Milan, Turin, and the other places. We have a DSU, the one uh, we have here in Milan. In another region of Italy, we call Piemonte, and you have the EDISU. It's the same, just the names are different. And in another one, we have um, yeah. So here you could see Hamari Yahan pe jo hai scholarships ka jo hai ha Lazio Disco hai Hamare pas, which is like the in the Rome region. Like if you go to Rome, we call that Lazio. Pe, different name, but the same scholarships. Not talking about the admission requirements. Hamne scholarships ki baat kar li, and by this moment, I'm pretty sure everybody's like, wow, why didn't we know even about this earlier? Uh, don't worry, I was the same uh, when I was at your stage. I didn't seniors that reach out to my seniors. It it's just about awareness, right? Admission requirements, you want to apply Italy, apply kare, ab Germany, apply kare, ab Canada, apply kare, aap kahi bhi apply kare hai. This is a general line of things which is a must if you're trying to figure out your application process. Number one, statement of purpose, which is also called as a letter of intent or we call the motivation letter, just in normal words. Mein kehte hai. Why you want to pursue this particular course? Why you? So this is about your why and where and how. So this is a document, this is ready. Karte hai. You need to have your resume and CV handy. It depends. Kahi aapka CV maangte hai, kahi aapka resume maangte hai. The third one I put on is for portfolio because I thought a lot of students must be interested to join architecture. Architecture value ke liye particularly aapka apna portfolio ready karna hota hai. Then I'm sorry, uh, the third or fourth one is about the recommendation letters. Ye bhi aapka CV se pehle aap ye ready rakhe because you need to actually show your endorsement. Aapke, yaha, for example, if you India, se apply kar hai. So it means that your professor know you or somebody you have worked under, they know you, right? You are going to get the recommendation letters that, okay, I know this person, the endorsement letters, and you need to submit that. English language certificate. It's a, a good moment for us as Indians because for us, nahi hamari embassy or Italy, mein, we don't need IELTS. I-E-L-T-S, which is our TOEFL ke naam se bhi jana jata tha. The English test, we don't require it here. You need to simply put up a certificate which is showing that your course has been, you know, in um, English language, your degree has been in the English language, you get it prepared from the university or you get it ready and it's been accepted. Unless you don't want embassy, mein na jai. but as far as my knowledge, our embassy B for visa process, they do not need IELTS. So this is something, a plus point here, GPA. GPA is six minimum out of 10, but be aware I have uh, written here ranking. If you're applying to Politecnico di Milano, of course it's not six, it's 7.5 or eight. Not even 7.5, it's eight. But just like I said before, it's about uh, the um, ranking. So say suppose there is uh, some university which is in the top 300, right? So in top 300, you see that some university is 400 or 500 and they do not require seven, they require six. So it depends. Degree certificate, of course, but uh, starting at time, you can email that we don't have a degree. Can we just scrib, uh, submit our transcripts and grade cards? It will work. But if your application is accepted, of course, uh, at the later stage, you have to you know, submit your degree certificate. Transcripts and grade cards, why different? A lot of students who you know uh, try to ask me ki, what we need to do. To my surprise, they didn't know the difference between a transcript and a grade card. Grade card hamara ek short one page overview hota hai, just may you we show what our grades are. But here you need to show the transcripts. Transcript means aapka detail, subject wise score, grade, SGPA, CGPA kya raha hai. And here they need the both. And of course, one another thing which I now remember and forgot to put it there is the syllabus. That is, you need to submit your detailed syllabus. Uh, while uh, submitting your application because they actually check that you background se hai and what you are pursuing. Why do you want to do it? How is it, right? So they kind of, you know, match it. It's a very important point as, as well about the syllabus. Why? Because a lot of my friends, being from telecommunication and from another course, they wanted to switch to uh, computer science. It's a little tricky here unless you have 
زیادہ ایکسپیرینس نہ ہو فار ایگزامپل آپ نے سی ایس میں کام نہ کیا ہو بینگ فرام ٹیلی کام اور الیکٹرانکس یا آپ کے پاس کوئی ایکسٹرا ڈگری نہ ہو یا ڈپلوما نہ ہو یا کوئی کورس ورک نہ ہو تو اٹس اے لٹل ٹرکی یا اگر آپ کے پاس اچھا سی جی پی نہ ہو سو کمپٹیشن زیادہ ہوتا ہے کراس سوئچنگ از ناٹ امپاسبل بٹ اے لٹل ڈیفیکلٹ اپرچونیٹیز ان اٹلی وائی اٹلی لاٹ آف یو لائک وائی آر یو سینگ لاٹ اباؤٹ اٹلی وائی واٹس دیر اوکے یو ہیو لاٹ آف انٹرنشپ اپرچونیٹیز اینڈ جاب اپرچونیٹیز ناٹ جسٹ ان اٹلی بٹ فراٹ یوروپ وائی وی ہیو دیٹ شنگن ویزا وی گیٹ آر ریزیڈنس پرمٹ اینڈ اٹس ایپلیکیبل ود ہیلپ آف دیٹ اف یو آر ہیئر یو کین ایکچولی سرچ اپرچونیٹیز ان نیدرلینڈس یو کین گو ٹو جرمنی یو کین گو ٹو بیلجیم یو کین گو اینی ویئر یو وانٹ اٹ جسٹ یو نیم اٹ اینڈ یو ٹرائی اٹ اینڈ they are going to accept your application so instead of uh, you know just uh, imagine being in india and sending up your application of course i won't say it will be rejected but i'm just weighing the chances being there in india and being in europe if you are having a uh, education from here or if you are pursuing your degree from here and aap kisi internship mein job opportunity ke liye apply yahan se kar rahe hain you have whole of europe for it so that's one big of opportunity thesis abroad If you come to Italy, we have here options that we have our thesis for 6 months. Ke liye continue karte. Like we have an option to carry out our thesis separately and you have to do it. Not something in India that we do side by side. Of course, we can do it side by side as well. But we have an option. Hota hai. Har saal call is open for thesis abroad. Ki. Government or university ya sponsor you that you can do your thesis somewhere else. You can do it in any other university. You can do it in any research center. You can do it with any company. If you get it. So it's very open. That's what is meant by thesis abroad. You can go and work with your thesis. And a lot of times what happens is that a professor or any company who you like is so good, they hire you. Or in fact, you know, they, they provide you some position. They provide you some a working position ahead. So that's one of the other perks of being here in Italy. Erasmus Mobility Programs. I don't know how many of you heard about it, but there is this one exchange program which happens every year, which is called by the name DAD, D-A-A-D, or we say the Erasmus Mundus program. It's not like that, but it's similar to that. When what happens, ab yahan jab enroll hote hai, in the university, every year the call opens. We have a chance to apply in the Erasmus mobility. What does that mean? I'm here in this university. Okay, I'm studying. I'm pursuing my course. Mere paas ایک اپلیکیشن کی ونڈو ہوتی ہے ویر این آئی اپلائی ویر این آئی گو فار مائی کینڈیڈیچر اینڈ آئی ول بی گیٹنگ اے چانس ٹو اسٹڈی مائی انادر سکس منتھس اور ون سیمسٹر اور کبھی کبھی ایکسٹینڈ ہو جاتا ہے ٹو سیمسٹر ان انادر یونیورسٹی وہ میرے پاس چوائس آتی ہے آئی ہیو ٹو چوز وچ یونیورسٹی اینڈ اف دے ہیو پلیسز اینڈ اف مائی اپلیکیشن اسٹینڈ یو نو اسٹرانگ ان اپ تو دے گیو یو چانس آپ ایز اے ایراسمس اسٹوڈنٹ یہاں کی یونیورسٹی سے دوسری یورپین یونیورسٹی میں جا سکتے ہیں سو دے ہیو دے آر رینجنگ فرام نیدرلینڈس فرانس ایون یو کے یو ایس کی بھی کچھ ہوتی ہیں ناٹ جسٹ یورپ سو یو ہیو آل آف دا یورپ اوپن ایز ویل ایڈنگ ٹو اٹ یو ہیو یو کے اینڈ یو ایس ایز ویل دین دیر آر ٹریننگ اینڈ ایکسچینج دیز ایکسچینج اینڈ ٹریننگ آر اسپیسیفکلی ان یورپ and they are very short term government sponsored saat din ki 10 din ki you can go to another university or another country another domain aap wahan ja ke saat din ki kisi kisi soft skill ki training ho gayi ya koi communication training ho gayi any training in exchange you can avail that all that being in europe so that's something a dream being in another part of the world here it's very easy okay i think we're coming to the end i didn't realize it uh, so yeah this that was all from me and uh, i think that was a good generic discussion from for any questions the floor is open uh for some moments you can reach out to me on my linkedin or you can email me mm, yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for the patient listening uh the floor is open now thank you Thank you so much, Ms. Monalza. The session was very insightful. It was very informative. And you have actually tried to make it very light. We really liked it. And uh, I would quickly summarize what you have told us, like what was the session about. It was about the basic opportunities that we have in Italy, uh, the internships and the scholarships that are available for the students all around the world, specifically India. And then moving on to the next section, that, that is the question and answer round. we'd be taking the questions one by one that are enlisted in the q and a section okay so the uh, first question uh, should yes. we go ahead or i'll be reading the question myself is that okay whatever is convenient hiba whatever is convenient to you you can do that okay 
Fine, I could just see the questions popped up. Okay, this uh, Mohammed Furkan, what about computer science? Of course, um, we have this University of Rome. Uh, if you check it for you particularly, check out uh, Sapienza University and uh, University of Bologna, and of course, Polytechnico as well. Jitni Harsal applications, the highest merit goes for computer science because from here, you have whole of the Europe available to just excel in your career, to excel in that domain. And since digitalization is the new era, I won't say computer science is the new era. Digitalization is the new era. You need computer science people for that. You need people from every domain, of course. But like you have a huge era now where they're waiting for you. I hope uh, that I was clear to you, that I'm clear to you. Mohammed Suhaim, is it a good place for undergraduate? Of course, of course it is. They have scholarship opportunities for undergraduate and bachelor student as well. But there is a catch that you need to find university if you want to study in the English language uh, uh, curriculum. Because bachelor's level, pe kya hota hai? Ke usually this the the curriculum is about the Italian course. I mean, they, the language is Italian and you have to learn the language first. So if you don't want to go into that hustle, that's why people choose English language courses. But if you're ready and if you're open to come and learn Italian language and immerse in the culture, of course, it's, it's, it's a good option. Why not? And adding to it, they have the scholarship opportunities for undergraduates as well. Insha Heather, I want to get admission for my master's in UK Australia that won't scholarship. I am so sorry, Insha. The of course your question is not null and void, but the, the session is particularly for us, uh, opportunities in Italy. Um and maybe you could reach out maybe next time if we have the webinar for UK or Australia. Thank you. Sarah Khan, uh, 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 are you going to discuss about undergraduate programs also? maybe in the next session with more information but for today's session i was particularly uh, directed to talk about the master's curriculum here is it possible to get this decision about italy ah of course if you have time to spend like 11 12 years meticulously and from full heart why not you get pr first and then you get the passport as well thank you mohsen i just finished bachelor's in civil engineering from nit srinagar uh, if you could make a distinction between gate IITs and international universities, preferably poly, poly me when it comes to employment. Thank you. Okay, this is a question a lot of my friends ask there, and I would want to take one minute to answer this. Mostly being from the eleven, I have the same college. Uh, I was um, uh, when I was about to choose uh, my career abroad, I got a chance to. Uh, I was uh, placed as well through campus placement. I had a choice to do it there. I had a choice being among the top performers of the class. And if you're from the NIT Srinagar, we have a pact with IITs that we can exempt the gate. I'm pretty sure you might know about it. We can exempt the gate. We can sit in the direct interviews of IITs and they actually can, uh, you know, you just have to crack it and they allow you to be uh, the part of their PhD program or even at times the MS programs. So being from NIT, you can exempt the gate if you want to go to IIT. So I had the choice as well. If you're asking personally me, I preferred Polytechnico or any other university in Europe to get the international experience, to get out of the domain about why is it different studying in an Asian culture and in a European culture. Of course, I don't endorse or negate any one of the two, but this is what I personally believe. I wanted to have a different mindset, not just about culturally, but of course, to meet and greet new people, to see how our research work happens, to see the change in the way of teachings and of course the system. So for me, that was more priority. And you're talking about the employment opportunities. So employment opportunity, I always say to my people, the opportunity and the potential is within you. You just have to reach it. You just have to reach and build, uh, ring the bell at the right time. I mean, there's nothing called unemployment, right? So, I mean, it's just about how do you pursue it? You do excel about it. Just leave rest to what happens next. If you're talking about Europe with respect to opportunity, I think you have ample amount of. I hope that suffice the answer. Taiba Chaudhary, how to apply, uh, do scholarship cover the accommodation in Italy? I, I think I mentioned yes. And that was in one of the, um, my slides as well. How do you choose Italy instead of popular choice of USA, Canada, or Germany? For me, as I told you, Taiba, that Italy has a lot of scholarship opportunities. And for me, it was like uh, something which was not just the ranking, the university ranking was more, the scholarship was more. So that's how I landed here. In terms of GPA, yeah. Uh, okay, that was something uh, I will 
little uh, clear here. When you're applying hair in Italy or in, in Europe, they have a scale of four. Like on a scale of four, unlike in India, we have it on 10. Our point is 10. Pe banta hai. On a scale of seven, eight, nine, it's from 10. But when you apply, there's a formula which is given in a university website. Aapko apna 10 ki scale pe, you have to change it on a scale of four. It's easy, easily available. You just have to Google it. Thank you. What should I submit instead of English language certificate? As I, as you said, IELTS is not required in Italy. That's what I'm saying. You just have to go to your university author authorities. You have to tell them, please, uh, mujhe ek normal ek, uh, certification day that uh, Filana Banda, my this enrollment is I have studied the whole four years of course in English language. That's it. Stamp and sign. That's it. Which, uh, what is process of visa and uh, do I have, uh, do I need to, do I need any money in bank account? I think you're talking about, do you need to have a freeze account? No, in Italy, you don't need to have a freeze account, un uh, unlike in Europe, uh, in Germany, sorry, where you have freeze account, rakhna padta hai. in Italy, you don't have to it. And for visa, I think it's too early to comment upon it. How well does Italy take Muslims and outsiders that work culture permit using hijab? hijab? Uh, if you could see that I'm wearing a hijab, so Alhamdulillah, by now it's, it's properly okay. It's up to you. Uh, I won't say it's totally not there, but it's very safe for students. Italy in particularly, mm, there's nothing, uh, a wrong uh, negation about it, a wrong perception about it. It's going fine till now, alhamdulillah. I have completed a master's in nuclear physics and have teaching experience. Now I want to pursue PhD. Can I apply directly for PhD? Of course, you can directly apply for PhD. And I, I think next time we might come up with a direct session about how to apply for PhD. You just have to go there, be among the general uh, application holders. Har saal, do bar calls khulti hai. Aapke September session ke liye, aapke spring session ke liye. Har saal, har session ke liye, do calls hoti hai. First call, second call. Jaysay abhi calls khuli hui hai, ya khul jayengi in some days. For September 2022. To abhi first call aayegi, second call February mein aayegi. To aapki ye do calls, Next September, if you want to start, karna, you have to apply now. Aapka university, aapka application, they can give, they'll accept you. You have to check for the funding and all the process you have to do after that, the visa and stuff. You don't have to repeat your master's unlike in other countries, no. Okay. Uh, I think there are a lot of questions. I, I don't know. There is. A, do I need a separate mark sheet? That's a great card. As a prospective aspirant, I have heard the visa rates are low. I mean, again, uh, for the visa thing, I won't comment right here. Maybe let's keep it for the next time. How about the medical education opportunity? There, there is a lot of the medical education in Italy is actually a lot. So for, with funding, but the only thing is for bachelor's level, pe hota hai, I don't endorse for MD because I have no uh, information um, about it. But if you Italy to learn Italian, you have to learn Italian because it's, it's something more of a public dealing with the people you have to treat them. So, of course, um, they wouldn't want an English speaker to do that. You want to come here, you want to do that. It's the same, five, six years, but you have to learn Italian. Okay, is there any age bar to pursue opportunities? No, of course not. It's, it's nowhere, not just in Italy. And there is no bar to the age to get learning done. No, it's not. I have completed my BTEC in 2013 and going to complete MBA next year. If I go for PhD, I'm so sorry. That's more of a personal choice. If you want to go ahead with your learning, there is no age. There's nothing like that. But if you want to work, of course, you can go ahead. What's the duration? Of course, it's two years. Or if you want, you can do the from two to three. It, it, it depends. If you are able to complete your uh, coursework in two years and the thesis as well, you're good to go. Some people are even able to do it before that. It's 1.5. Some people want to extend it because you have scholarships and they want to, you know, go work with some company for their thesis. That like I am uh, uh, doing my thesis individually, so I'll be taking six months extra. So that's up to you what you want to do. There's no, you know, uh, limit or anything. Is Italy citizenship easier than USA green card? I'm sorry, that's more of a question which I wouldn't want to answer. Uh, how will you? How will my selection chance in Italy increase? Work on your SAP recommendation letters. Work on your GPA. Work on your extracurricular activities because it's not just about grades and stuff. Your profile has to be literally very diverse. Does Italy has more scholarships than Canada? Of course, it's not more or less. But since we were talking about the ease and the way of getting it, so of course, I think Italy is also at par, if not less. We have to learn Italian language before applying to masters. No, you don't have to. At least for applying, as I said. If you have already applied to masters in India, of course you can do it. A lot of students, they, they, they're already doing their masters in, Italy, in India or some other country and then they come here and do again. So there's uh, no bar with that. I've completed my BTEC uh, 
I have a master's. Okay, I have completed my BTEC in mechanical engineer this year, and I want to apply for MS management in Italy. But my, okay. So this is a little tricky question. Uh, it depends. I mean, it depends how what your profile is. Six point nine seems to me a little low, but do not uh, get disheartened. You can give it a try. You never know. Aapka SOP padne wala banda aage kitna inspire hota hai. Maybe you have some other work experience. Maybe you have your other profile. Maybe you have some publications. Maybe you have done some work in that domain which supports your application. As I told you, application is not just about CGPA. Of course, it is about that as well. But it's about your overall curriculum, overall profile. So yeah, you can give it a try. I think the questions are closed. Yeah, thank you. If there are not any more questions, I don't know. I guess Hello. that was yeah. all. Okay. Oh. And uh, yes. Uh, so so thank you so much, Manaza, for your time. Thank you. um, that was really yeah. helpful thank you for taking this q and a so well i have i really appreciate you of um course. at the end i would like to call upon um, nahida to give a thanks of note uh, nahida oh, before, before before nahida yes. uh, i'm sorry before nahida i would like to thank you you're doing an amazing job you're doing an amazing stuff thank you so much for having me today here and of course it's like sada kajaria and of course i would like to say a very short note to all the people who are here as attendees if you want to do it if you want to get there if you really have that zest of reaching that place hum jo kar rahe hai this just awareness but just keep one thing in mind it's you at the end of the day jisko karna hai it's you at the end of the day who has to you know work two or three hours every day to get your things sorted out no of course there are people who are going to help you like us the workshops the webinars the eliminates everything but do not hesitate to just write out write an email write out to people of course mujhe kabhi kabhi emails aati hain not just emails I get like very cold emails. Hey, hi there on Instagram. Do you like to help me? I want to apply. So I would request to all, if you are applying, kar rahe hai, if you are asking for help, just be a little professional. Take time to, you know, at times it depends. Aage wala apki email kaise leta hai. Try to write out your email. Take some three, four minutes to write an email pro- properly. Try to put up a subject and try to reach out to different people. Even the university authorities, har jaga international corner hota hai, unka email hota hai, and they are very, very responsive. So, ab jaaye unko email kare. It's everything on your fingertips. So you have to make your mind for that. Thank you, Hiba, once again, and uh, thank you, everyone. I hope it was useful. <laughs> thank you so much for. Um... the last note i guess that was something which is very important that every much should consider uh, over to you nahida um, we thank can you. have a thanks sir yeah thank you sister hiba good evening everyone i am nahida and i am here to present the vote of thanks i would like to thank ms munasa ma'am speaker our speaker for enlightening us with her vast knowledge it was an interesting webinar full of knowledge and awareness for different educational degrees and scholarship open opportunities in italy i'm pretty sure this webinar has helped all of you clear your doubts and it will definitely help you as per your dreams and go and study abroad inshallah i extend my gratitude to our honorable speaker ms munaza ma'am to take out time from her busy schedule to empower us with this knowledge thank you so much ma'am and i would extend my gratitude to amp for organizing this webinars this are very helpful to all the students alhamdulillah and thank you all the participants for joining us and making this meet a successful one i must finally thank the ML, the organizing team for and all the volunteers for making time and making awareness about this webinar and making it successful alhamdulillah thank you so much everyone and i'd like to say to participants that we uh, we will have the recording available on youtube and facebook Hello, you can ma'am. you can check that there thank you so much i end my speech here thank you once again